Expect mostly cloudy skies on Friday with showers and rumbles of thunder. Good Thursday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see from the Ultimate Doppler Radar, we've got a couple of showers in Knox County as of 740 this evening. The Ultimate Doppler Radar, presented by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair, East Tennessee's number one tire shop and auto repair since 1953. They've been doing this for 70 years, and they've got five convenient locations. Check them out. By the way, as I should mention, these showers have been coming up not from the west, but from the southeast. So that's weird. Uh, all because it's rotating around the low, which is located in Mississippi, and it's rotating counterclockwise. So it's coming up from the foothills into Knox County and sliding into places like Crossville, Cookville, even Tazewell has had a few showers today. So don't be surprised if those strange weather directions are observed over the next 24 hours because we're caught in a rainy low round. You want more evidence? Take a look at the spin in Mississippi. Mississippi's got some spin. Oh, yes, they do. And there's all sorts of lightning strikes uh, dancing all around it in Alabama and in Georgia and in Florida. Looks like over 5,000, but you have to include the thunderstorms out in the Midwest to add up to that total. So it's been a lot of convection, a lot of thunderstorms, very active pattern, no doubt. Our high temperature today hit 80 degrees. I revised my Knoxville forecast to 79 this morning, so I was off by one degree even in the end here. But it was about nine degrees above normal, normal high. 71, record high 89, set back in 1887. We take a look at the headlines. We've got showers. We've got rumbles uh, tonight and Friday. Then we have some spots of rain Saturday, and even that might be slim pickings because I think it might be focused over toward the Tri-Cities for some spots of rain, but we'll keep it in the forecast. And then showers and rumbles return with the approaching cold front that comes in on Sunday. So Sunday is unsettled even still for the second half of the weekend. Tracking the clouds, you may find partly the mostly cloudy skies. The blue clouds are the thicker clouds. And where they're blue, maybe very well correspond with the rain showers spinning in from the southeast, at least at this particular time frame. Once we move into tomorrow, don't expect much of the way of sun. It might be maybe some hazy sun. But you can see from tracking the clouds in the rain, we've got showers across Alabama, some thunderstorms across Mississippi. All that energy still has to work its way in this direction. So the next weather maker is rainy. Oh, we can talk about rain. Most of it may be on the somewhat light side, a quarter inch by Knoxville standard by 730 tomorrow. So 730 Friday night, maybe a quarter inch, maybe a third in Maryville. But once we move into, say, Saturday, I don't think the rain gauges will move much. But once we move into Sunday, we're adding some reinforcements that comes in from the west, may pick up about a half inch in Maryville. When it's all said and done over the next couple of days, maybe about a half inch in Greenville, close to a half inch Teleco Plains and a third of an inch around Crossville, Cumberland County. Again, just some guidance, nothing gospel related. It's not going to be absolutely to this exact drop of rain, but it gives you a sense. This is not going to be anything that's going to break the rain gauge. Meanwhile, the orange and white game, that orange and white game is this Saturday, the 15th of April. You know, it char they're charging now $5 to get in this game, and then you got to pay for parking. So I would say, I'm going to make a guess. I'm going to say that Tennessee it's going to win this game. Now, I don't know if it's orange or it's white. I don't know if it's go big orange or go big white. I don't even know if that's a hashtag, but it could be. 2.30 Saturday, kickoff 74, halftime 75. Captain Accurate believes we're up to 76 for a high, partly cloudy, and we'll leave some spots of rain, at least in the forecast. But winds pick up from the southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Let's talk about the Storm Prediction Center. we got some colors to talk about. The yellow would be scattered severe storms. That's in the Midwest. Even the isolated severe storms tomorrow looks like it's well to the east. It's across the Carolinas, parts of Virginia. Heading into Saturday, maybe towards St. Louis, toward Memphis for scattered severe storms. Only if you're traveling in that direction would you encounter severe weather on Saturday. That's where the bur burden of proof will be. But for us, it'll be maybe some isolated thunderstorms uh, in the area. I don't think necessarily it's a big deal Saturday. Then you can see all across the midsection of the country uh, with low relative humidities, those little uh, red areas refer to fire warnings. They don't want people to burn uh, because with the strong winds, the low RHs, the low relative humidities, fires can get out of control pretty quickly. Here's the future cast. I want to take you through time. Lots of these spokes, lots of waves of rain could come in and then move right back out. There's 2 o'clock, 2.15 in the morning. Heading into 5, 5.45. Now there's passing shower in Knoxville, and then it's gone. And then this little trough, the line of low pressure, it kickstarts even more rain showers, keeping it unsettled at 3, 3.15 Friday afternoon. But where does it go from there? It tries to go to Kentucky, but we're still in the crosshairs for a couple more drops of rain and maybe a rumble. 
and then we move into 8 o'clock Saturday morning. It looks like it's out of here. Or is it? Maybe around the Tri-City. Maybe a drop of rain. That's 10-15. But I know the game's at 2-30, and even at 12-15, there might be some activity, some drops of rain along the Kentucky-Tennessee line. We get to 2-30, maybe a little green there. I don't see a whole lot. Maybe. But just maybe. We'll leave it in there. But we'll keep an eye. I think it's partly cloudy. And then we get into 5 o'clock. 9 p.m. Saturday, it returns. 3 a.m. Sunday, and the cold front's just now approaching. And now we have unsettled weather at noontime when church service is let out. And by 3.45, it's still unsettled. By 5 o'clock, boy, I tell you what, slow moving. It's slow getting out of here. So Sunday will be unsettled basically from sun up to close to sundown. By the time we, I think we get to sundown, you'll see perhaps more in the way of the sun because we'll expect a sunny day on Monday. Here's the Valley Planner in the overnight period. We're dropping into the lower to mid 50s. The average low, typical low, is 47 this time of year. It might be even 48 tomorrow morning. Uh, but tonight we're down to 54. More clouds, showers, and rumbles. Variable winds, 3 to 8 miles per hour. That's my expectation. 55 in Wartburg, 54 in La Follette, 55 for Morristown, Dandridge, Jefferson City, as well as White Pine and Russellville. Want to jump ahead to Friday, 70 tomorrow. Some may not even get out of the 60s. Showers and rumbles, and winds will change from northeast to southwest, 5 to 10. About 68 for Oak Ridge. 70 for Knoxville, 72 for Pigeon Forge and Sevierville. A little bit warmer in Greenville at 74, but only 68 for Kingston and Athens come tomorrow. So it will be varied as this uh, low continues to dance across our region. Now here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for the next seven days. 70 for Friday, 76 for Saturday, spots of rain. And it might even be a little bit more humid tonight, but boy, it turns cooler it turns sharply cooler come Monday night and into Tuesday morning. We're down to 41. Some of you will wake up in the upper 30s. Now, usually Saturday, April 15th, that's the time everyone says, green light, let's get out and plant, let's plant. But if we have temperatures, as you can see here, into the lower 40s, possibly upper 30s, just take into consideration, Tuesday is technically the 18th of April. So it's a weird thing. I tell you what, sunshine will dominate the skies. We'll be lucky to get to 65 on Monday, the way things are shaping up, but then it's back up to 83 by Thursday of next week. Up and down we go like a yo-yo. By the way, you can keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate Weather app. It's my free with my oh, Pete Michaels traffic. There it is. Keep you and your family safe. Just search the word Captain Accurate at the App Store Google Play. It also works at your, on your iPad. Always remember the iPad. It works there too. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care. Oh, my God.